In 2018, the European Commission noticed that since 96% of all their buildings are not energy efficient, they will have to be more serious. They set aside some 3 trillion euros to basically get their construction, especially in the built industry, really becoming energy compliant. Well, in Ghana, the case may be a bit different, but some companies are doing the right things. My lenses are on Kalbank, specifically at their head office, where I'll be discussing energy efficiency, sustainability conversation, and indeed, green building. Going green simply means employing technologies or making some conscious effort at including sustainability in everyday life. I have come to the Carl Bank head office where the building is green. Yes, yes, At the very entrance, the all trees were so kept during construction except two. Immediately, the bank embarked on a carbon offsetting program by planting 500 more trees. Inside, I meet Yao Banafo taking me on a tour. He says the bank has installed solar, which makes as much as 37% savings on the power consumed from the national grid. When no one is around, the lights simply go off. So, the lights are all censored across the entire facility, including what we just saw. Um, and this is the case also in the office spaces and all of that. So the lights are configured to come on at um, a certain time in the morning, and by a certain time in the evening, they go off. All the lights in the building, except of course, the security lights. And we also do recognize that people may be working late. So we leave the spotlights in the offices also on, but it's just to sort of provide illumination for security staff at night. But otherwise, all central lights go off at a certain time. There's this joke we make that if you fell asleep on your desk at a particular time of inactivity, I would walk into the room and the lights would be off. The head of his building takes no water from the Ghana Water Company. To top it all, water is segregated so that treated water is not used for everything. Well, if you thought it's over, wait for this one. While the air condition keeps blowing, at a point, it goes off automatically and fresh air comes into the building, which is also cool. Carbank says it wants other businesses and individuals to be equally sustainable and has set aside $30 million in loans. If you can look at your sewage and how to convert that into some kind of energy. Um, you can use the water to water your lawns, you know, green your environment. So we're looking at some of that. Um, we've done biogas for the University of Ghana. Um, the new hostels that they built, we actually put two biogas um, plants on site. And if it's working properly, they should be able to use that to light up their streets and use the wastewater um, for their plants as well. Now we have quite a few on the book who are looking at solar. Um, solar panels for their homes, solar panels for all the real estate that some are doing subdivisions. So they are putting um, one solar panel in place for a whole lot of um, apartments or homes. So we are doing that. And then there are lots of people who are looking at energy efficiency, rewiring their homes, changing the kind of um, electrical equipment that they have in their homes so that then their energy load is a lot less um, than what, what they've been doing in the past. Everybody tells this, um, it's capital intensive, capital intensive, and we be mindful of that. So we give you a longer term, the cash flow um, pressure on you is a lot less, and then you, you spread it over that long term. Yes, we look at the interest rate as well, and in partnership with the um, organizations that we've borrowed from, what it is is we limit how much in fees that we can take from you. So they've looked at the typical lending rates, We've looked at a reduction in the interest rate. Don't ask me what, because it is per transaction. But we make sure that it's lower than the cost of borrowing um, 
the in the bank or in the market and then also we look at the upfront fees so net net the cost to you would be a lot less than a regular one because we also want to promote green in terms of the sustainability backing that we're trying to do so how much is in your portfolio just for um, green finance we have about 32.5 million dollars that we already have sitting down um, waiting for green um, projects projects to finance and we have um, in the pipeline a lot more what we've decided to do is um, create a lot more awareness let people be attracted to it before we tap into the pool of funds that is available internationally for doing green the nice thing is the government of Ghana is, is also looking at green bonds and so if it can be raised locally why bother about going out there to raise money um, to come and fund green um, projects locally so it's a, a combination of making sure that the industry are, accepts and wants to do this. Um, that's why we're looking at long term. Um, and we give you nice structures. So somebody wants to replace the solar panels. We can look at um, that period where the construction is going on or the facility is being put in place. We give you a moratorium because by all means you'll be buying from ECG. The Ghana Green Building Summit is in its third year and the originator says the private sector can make their contributions, but government will have to do more. Initially, um, a lot of people were thinking it's a, a nice to have conversation. It's, uh, the issues are not really essential, or it's not it's not an issue of uh, bread and butter. So, you know, there are other issues that concern people and take people's time. But over the course of time, you mentioned that we started about three years ago. Over the course of time people are becoming more interested. And to even put things into um, context so that whoever is listening or watching would understand the agency of this. And it's not like it's a group of people who have nothing to do or bored and need something to tickle them or just drink tea and just meet and talk about climate change. The, the, the essence of climate change is about avoiding or reducing carbon emissions. And I'll, I'll hone in on green buildings in a bit. I know we don't have much time, but for anyone watching or listening to understand, you need to understand the bigger context of climate change. So basically, we're sitting here, it's afternoon, the sun is shining. Um, we, we, we have the light from the sun coming into our atmosphere here. And at night, the the, the, the effect or the, the sun's effect evaporates into the atmosphere. However, the carbon dioxide, in fact, there are a number of gases, carbon dioxide traps the heat at night so that it doesn't completely evaporate. Now, the essence of this cycle is that it forms like a blanket around the world, around the atmosphere so that temperature is balanced. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. If this blanket was not there, then the world would be perpetually cold. However, because the blanket is formed by carbon dioxide and other gases, but mainly carbon dioxide, and now we are overproducing, or there are too, there's too much carbon dioxide from our human activities, the, 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 the heat, in terms of the, uh, the uh, generator, because, the, because of the carbon dioxide forming a blanket or a thicker blanket, is just too much and has affected life. So now you hear global warming. And I'm sure everybody said global warming. In fact, we know ourselves, we we're just talking about school before coming on there. We know ourselves that a few years ago, it wasn't this hot. Now, now you can barely live without um, ACs. So the human activities contribute. To, to global warming. And buildings, I'm honing on buildings. Buildings also contribute. The, the fact, the mere fact, we are sitting in this nice building, the, the mere fact that the buildings are, are going up, the skyline of Accra is looking nicer and nicer. It's, it's, it gives a sense of progress and development.
If you take a look at this place, which is a sample of how a construction could really go green, 40 trees, just two were cut for the construction and 500 others were planted elsewhere. That's what Cow Bank has been doing. Well, also, Cyril has been discussing how generally we as a country can have green in every conversation that we take a look at, especially the building um, code. So what about the district assemblies putting as part of the permits that is giving you to build some sustainability conversation, especially when it comes to the environment? Well, my name is Odilia Ntiamwa. That's what we've been looking at. There'll be several other conversations that we'll take a look at as the months and the weeks go on.